great. That's a great night of football. A, um, obviously, a very tough game. Uh, came down to just a couple plays, but um, glad we were able to win. And I'm uh, sorry to keep you guys waiting. I wasn't anticipating this. It was awesome. Did that surprise you? I'm not surprised. I just, I, I tried not to predict what was going to happen and how I'd feel. And had a few emotional moments this week just thinking about all the people that have really meant so much to me in my life and that are a part of this community. And I'm um, just very grateful for, you know, amazing time here. And um, like I said, my football journey took me somewhere else. But I'm really enjoying that. And great to get a win, 3-1. and one. I know to make it about the game, but... You know, three and one against a really good football team tonight's where, where we wanted to get done. Yeah, um, I mean, all those are personal. So we've had a personal relationship and, um, you know, for 20 plus years. So he drafted me here and we've had a lot of personal conversations that should remain that way. And they're very private. And I would say so much is made of, of our relationship and, um, you know, as I said earlier this week, you know, from a player standpoint, you just expect the coach to give you everything he's gotten as a, I'm sure as a player, that's what he was hoping for me, but, um, nothing's really accurate that I ever see. It's all kind of, uh, you know, definitely doesn't come from my personal feelings or beliefs. And I have a lot of respect for him as a coach and obviously a lot of respect for this organization and, um, you know, all the different people here that try to make it. Successful. Are you surprised to see him after the second time I guess afterwards? No, we just uh, no, we just said we'll catch up after the game for a little bit. Um I mean it doesn't count in practice, so nothing matters if you give touchdowns or interceptions, so it all counts out here. Um, it was a tough, hard fought game. It was very typical Patriot type weather, um, you know, very tough to come into the environment. I thought the fans did a great job at that, that little, um, what do they call that horn, that fog horn, whatever, Man, that thing's loud as could be. You don't think about it much when you're, you know, trying to, uh, you know, when the, when the defense on the field, I just happened to be on the, the field when that thing was going off. So they, uh, it's a great home field advantage. The fans were amazing and um, just happy to, you know, for, for, for our team personally, just for us to get a win in a really tough environment, it's tough to do in the NFL. Tom, when you ran out of the tunnel and you did your 100-yard run that you've done so many times, but you ended in the opposite end zone, what was going through your head? What was your first thought? Well, I couldn't run through the normal tunnel, so, um, yeah, it just happened to be the opposite way tonight. And uh, it's just fun, a lot of emotions, and it's a very, uh, very emotional week. Just, again, these guys are like my brothers, you know what I mean? And I got to... You know, there's two groups of people, I, all of my Bucks teammates that I love and, and uh, I'm going to battle with every week. And then there's another group of guys that I see, and those are my friends that I've been with for a long time, Matt Slater and Kyle Van Noy and Dante Hightower and John and Devin and David Andrews and Hoyer. And um, there's a whole crew, Josh. And it's just, you know, these are, these are the people that I've shared my life with and uh, very grateful for everything that they've, uh, kind of uh, contributed to my life. I'm very you, blessed. I know winning meant more to you, but being able to, to, to get the NFL passing record, you know, yep. what, what did that mean for you tonight? I just think it's an amazing um, statistic in that so many people can share in it with me. So quarterback doesn't throw and catch. Quarterback can just throw it. And it's uh, yards, uh, passing yards have to be caught. So I just hope that everybody who – Caught passes from me over the years. Uh, just had a little smile on their face tonight, just knowing that they contributed to, you know, a very cool record. And there's some people that have kind of preceded it by name. You know, Drew Brees, who I look up to, is a hell of a guy. Great player, Peyton Manning, who's one of my all-time favorites. Brett Favre, Dan Marino. Um, but obviously, you know, my teammates who caught all these passes over the years um, mean an awful lot to me. They did a good job. They did a good job. I mean, it was a t it was a tough game, hard fought game. We ran the ball well, moved it. We just didn't get it in the red zone. You know, we had a few kind of costly uh, drive killing 
kind of mistakes that limited us uh, getting really scoring touchdowns it would have been a lot different but um, you know just proud of our teams tough weather um, you know just a very typical day we had to grind it out and they did a good job yeah they did a good job I mean it's they 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 got a good team they got good cover players they got you know they got a good rush got some good hits on me tonight so I'll be a little sore tomorrow He did a great job. Did a great job. I think that offense does a great job. Josh really dialed up some good plays too. So uh, they kind of hit everything. I saw him come in and a couple reverse passes and the throwback, and um, they did a good job. But uh, in the end, it always comes down to a couple plays. Happy we made them. Had Ryan made a huge kick. You know, he made a few big ones last year for us. Um, I know Nick got a good hit on that one there at the end. It just was a little bit left. It's been a great stadium, for, you know, for me for a long time. So I don't know what the future holds. You know, obviously there could be an opportunity to come back here. So we'll see. I, I feel like I'll always be a part of this community, and um, I'll be I'll be up here quite a bit when it's all said and done. When I retire, I'm sure there'll be you know a lot of time for, uh, you know, I have a lot of friends up here, and it's a great place. And again, my kids were born on Beacon Street in the city, and. Um, you know, it's just, it's an amazing, been an amazing place for me. It still is. And uh, I obviously see a lot of uh, familiar, friendly faces. And uh, it's great to see you guys, too. Hey, Tom, Mom. you talked about preparation and how emotional it was this week. So for everything that you expected, and then as it turned out tonight, what was the difference in, in how you had to try to lock in this week and how it all turned out? I feel good that we won. You know, I feel good that we won. I, I think that... uh Again, I didn't try to, it was just some emotional moments thinking about coming up here and playing. And um, again, I just, I know why it's tough to come in here and, and uh, win a game, you know, all these years. They, this team does a great job to make you earn it. They're not going to win every game. Um, but, you know, it's a tough football environment. The crowd's into it. Um, I'm just, I'm really happy we got to win. Is that the football from the record? Yep. Tom, that one's for me. Go, Karen. Not nervous, uh, just kind of always kind of how I feel during a game. Um, it was a little bit back and forth. We couldn't really quite get the ball in the end zone, so that was a little bit frustrating. And they just do a good job of, uh, I think, between, you know, kind of understanding what they were going to do defensively and then also understanding, you know, dealing with the weather. There was some some unique challenges tonight. And I thought Patriots played a great game. They, they you know, it's a talented football team. They got a lot of good players. They hit on a lot of plays tonight. We had a lot of penalties that kind of hurt us, but um, took care of the ball better and uh, you know, ended up being a good win. Tom, you sort of Last one. On it. Before the game, all the crowd said you'd love to see you eventually retire as a Patriots supporter. I think you can call it Did Adam know he was talking about the one-day contract kind of thing? Is that something you'd be interested in when the day comes? <laughs> Are you offering me a one-day contract? <laughs> or did he offer me that? Um, he didn't offer me that, so. <laughs> I still got some time left with the Bucks, and like I said, really enjoying that. And uh, we got a lot to accomplish this year. It's a tough, challenging year. It's a marathon of a season. Um, it's only four games in. There's a lot of football to be played. Um, it feels good to win on the road. So it's happy we did that. And uh, um, again, appreciate all you guys. Sorry for keeping you guys late. And uh, to all my friends here, good luck to you guys. Have a great year, and I'll see you down the road. Is that what Thank you. you.